Hey guys, this is the final clip of the video, and this is a CBS affiliate in Vegas that there was an ISIS threat to Vegas, and this I think this broadcast was Monday before the shooting, of course, on Sunday. So, very interesting here, another link to ISIS here. Time a new threat comes from ISIS, it's no joke. And there is a new video out on the web that some feel targets Las Vegas. So how credible is this threat? Christiane Klein has been digging deeper to find out how credible the concern is, and she joins us now in the studio. Christiane? Yeah, Denise, the first thing we did was reach out to Metro. They tell me they do not believe this is a credible threat, rather an attempt to inspire and motivate some form of action. The new ISIS video calls for specific attacks similar to the Orlando Pulse nightclub shooting. And although Las Vegas is not mentioned by name in the video, the strip is shown, and experts say the intention is clear. In the latest video reportedly released by ISIS in Mosul, the terror group encourages new attacks against major U.S. cities. The video shows footage of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco and the Las Vegas Strip. Website PJMedia.com published this still capture from the video, showing what appears to be the pedestrian walkway above the strip connected to the Bellagio. Security expert David Shepard with the Readiness Resource Group says Nevada residents shouldn't panic. Part of what they end up doing is instill some kind of fear in people. Doesn't mean something's going to happen, doesn't mean there's any credibility to it. All they have to do is create that one little bit of fear. Shepard says Las Vegas has faced the threat of attacks before, and instead of fear, residents can use this opportunity to learn tools to help prevent an attack. The one that picks the cities is them, and we have to be vigilant at all times under all cities, not just here. It's not a big city war. It's not a, just a eastern United States. It is an entire affects the whole country. He says one of the most powerful tools for prevention is an alert citizenry. ISIS relies heavily on the internet to get its message out which allows plenty of opportunities for alert citizens to report strange behavior they may read on social media or other websites. So if you see something, hear something, read something, report it. It's not just, like I said, it's security's responsibility or law enforcement responsibility. It's everybody's responsibility. And Metro Police also tell me even though they are not deeming this as a threat, Metro and its partners will remain vigilant with increased patrols in high-profile areas such as the Strip, malls, and clubs this upcoming holiday weekend. And as David Shepard said, report any suspicious activity or persons. Also, we reached out to PJMedia.com to see if anyone could talk to us about this video. We have yet to hear back. UNLV's Institute for Security Studies also released a preventative video for the public on how to spot the seven signs of terrorism this this was a few years ago. It's worth watching. If you have not had a chance to see that video or you want to refresh your memory, that link is on our website and our Facebook page for 8 News Now. Back to you guys. That's cool. That experience. Yeah, so there was a lady who pushed her way forward into the concert venue into the first row, and she started messing with another lady and told us that we are all going to die tonight. Do you know why she was saying that? I mean, was this after gosh, the shots were fired? Or? It was about 45 minutes before the shots were actually fired, but then she was escorted out by security. How does that make you feel? I mean, it makes me feel uncomfortable, especially coming here for my 21st birthday, and not knowing if I'm safe, not even knowing if I'm safe going home tomorrow on an airplane. So, partners are watching this. It is made a matter of record tonight. Okay, so uh, they want the description of this woman. Describe to me what this woman looked like. Her and her boyfriend were both Hispanic. They were probably about shorter five footers, probably about five, 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 six. Um, they just look like everyday people. Can you tell us anything more about them? What they look like? Why were they escorted out? Were they escorted out because you were feeling uncomfortable about what they said? Yes, because she had been messing with the lady in front of her, telling her that she was going to die. That we were all going to die. 